Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about cost function and surfaces and the gradient descent. As you can see in the screen, we will understand how the cost function looks like in a 3D surface, what are the global minima and the local minima, and how to reach those global minima and local minima. Okay, we will first understand the linear type of cost functions, then we will look on the non-linear cost function. Then at the last and the final stage, we will look at the highly non-linear functions like this one. Okay, so you will have very huge number of local minima. Okay, all these things we will understand with help of visualizations. And I will also explain about the 2D contours for these 3D surfaces. Okay, so without waiting, let's start. So guys, let's start with a linear plot. We know that the equation of line is y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, let's first fit a linear line on top of some points. So in this visualization, you can see there are many small, small points are laying on a 2D surface. Okay, and I have fitted a line with help of linear regression on top of these points. And this is how the line looks like. Okay, let's understand how we are able to find out this best fit line on top of these points okay so for that we will understand what is our cost function over here so our cost function is mean square errors so mean square error having a very simple formula that y predicted minus y actuals square summed over all the points so what i mean to say over here is we are calculating the distance for every single point from this line and summing it over and dividing the number of points with that function and that gives our cost function so we will apply gradient descent on top of these points and find out the best optimal solution if you see the cost function the yi is equal to mx plus c this msc is actually a function of m and c parameters of your lines so we optimize those parameters with help of gradient descent. First, we, we start from a random point and then we start changing these points towards the decreasing slopes. So guys, I have already explained in my previous video how gradient descent works in case of 2D functions. You can check out that video after completing this one. So now let's discuss about a nonlinear function. Here I have generated a nonlinear function, a spiral type of function, and it has some points over here. So if you see this function over here, you cannot fit a line on top of these points. So we can utilize a neural network which have nonlinear functions like sigmoid and all. And I have also explained all these functions in my previous videos. So let's understand how the solution surface looks like for these nonlinear surfaces. So guys, we all know that we start gradient descent from a random point and try to reach up the valley. So if you see this three dimensional plot shows up the errors what we got while doing the gradient descent. So suppose that you have three parameters x, y, z in your equation. So you give some random number to your parameter, suppose on top of this hill, then you find out where, the, where you are getting the highest slope. So we will start moving towards the hills okay like in this way in this way and if you see the lowest part of this 3d contour you see the blue points so these blue points are this local and global solutions so guys we know that if you are starting from this hill you may be able to reach this point after applying the gradient descent and if you are starting from this point then you may be able to reach over here somewhere over here okay so these three are like x, y, z are the solution of this one. So whatever point is the lowest point among all this surface. So you will be able to see from the downward side. So as you can see that you are having the lowest point over on the corners over here. So these are the lowest point. So these are called the global solutions. And you have some points over here. Okay. Like over here. So these are the local solutions. This is a huge problem while doing the optimization that you may be reaching to these local solutions most of the time. So for getting out from this error, you start from multiple points and there are multiple techniques for doing it. 
like stochastic gradient descent. I'm going to explain all those techniques with help of these contour plots in my upcoming videos. Okay. So if you are first time visiting this channel, don't forget to press the bell icon and the subscribe button. So going back to our plot, so you can see on this upper side of the plot, you can see there are some 2D lines. So these are actually called the contour plots. So guys, if you are projecting this 3D surface to a 2D plane, you get these contour plots. The orange line in this green contour plot shows the peaks of these solution surface. And the blue lines shows the lowest point or the minimum point of this solution surface. So you have to reach the global minimum or the lowest point in this surface. So this is a simple way to visualize your cost function. In actuals, you will have a very high dimensional surface that you cannot visualize at once. So you try to start these gradient descent for every single parameter to reach to the lowest point of these valleys. Okay. So this is a highly random solution surface. You can see that there are huge number of points from where you can start. Okay. And there are huge number of minima for this function. You have to start your algo or your gradient descent from huge number of peaks. So these are the initial points you need to provide so that you can reach to the global minima. So that can be done with hyperparameters turing. I'm going to explain all these concepts in my upcoming videos. Okay, guys. If you see the top surface of this plot, these are the contour plots for this surface. Okay. So your solution surface can be like this one and or this one okay so if your surface is like this one it is easy to reach to the global minima and if your surface is like this one it's pretty difficult to reach to your global minima so guys this is all for this video i hope you found this pretty interesting and helpful to understand the concept behind cost function global minima local minima if you are first time visiting to my channel, don't forget to press the bell icon and the subscribe button. I'll be coming up with new videos where I will explain the Adam optimizer, the RMS prop optimizer and the stochastic gradient descent. Okay, with that we will close today's session. Bye bye guys. Take care.